Miss Minnesota USA 2019, and I'm giving it my title later tonight, crowning the new winner, who is Miss Minnesota 2020. Hello guys! Good morning! I'm planning to go to watch Miss Minnesota. The winner for Miss Minnesota will compete on Miss USA and then if she win Miss USA, whoever wins Miss USA is going to compete Miss Universe. Um, the time right now is uh, 2 o'clock, 2.30. And the show will start at 4 p.m. But I'm already ready, guys. Because, uh, first of all, it is snowing. Uh, second, I want to make sure that I have a parking spot. It's not actually far from my house. It's like maybe 5 or 7 minutes where the Miss Minnesota. I watched a lot of beauty pageants, but i never really been to anyone, like any, like, live. It's always on TV or a screen. Let's go to AIM Center. That's also in Burnsville. I live in Burnsville, Minnesota. A few moments later. So I am here now at the AIM Center, guys. This one costs about... For the t-shirts, like $25. And then for the ring... Oh. And this is... This is uh, like fifteen dollars worth. Okay. Oh. Are the trophies and the crown for Miss Minnesota USA? It says Miss Minnesota Teen. Oh my goodness. I'm a YouTube blogger. Can you say, thank you for the so cute. So like, what are you to doing with like the back of the camera? Like, are we getting some? <laughs> this Minnesota right there. Oh, this is really good quality. Yeah. Wow. You want me to say anything? Yeah, just say, oh. Okay, hi, I am Kat Stanley, Miss Minnesota USA. 2019 and I'm giving it my title later tonight crowning the new winner who is Miss Minnesota 2020. She's gonna join the sisterhood today. These are the candidates uh, of Miss Minnesota I think. We go. Well, I think that's Miss Teen USA. Guys, we are now at the Miss Minnesota. This is the stage. Yeah, I'm gonna have these guys move all down. Right we'll here. here. We'll leave spots for Matt. Yeah. All right. And yeah, we're, we're here now. I'm sitting now. T1, and I'm far from. That's okay. Guys, um, to be honest, I don't know who are the candidates. I don't know who they are. It's currently 4 o'clock, and it should start soon. So hang on, guys. Do you guys, if you know Halima, she also compete here in Miss Minnesota. So I hope she's here. I'm not sure, but I, I do want to see her.
like Ali. And Ali there. Sianja, do you think the world is better now or was better when you were a young child? I would have to say that the world is a better place now. I and now we're joined by our second finalist. This is Taylor Bundy. Hi, Taylor, how do you feel? Denise? I am living the dream. <laughs> Taylor, what makes you most proud of your generation? Looking at technology, we have came a long ways uh, from my parents' generation to now <laughs> is amazing. Uh, the way we are able to communicate with people through social media has a, a lot of pros and cons. And I would have been able to meet some of my best friends that I have today. Thank you. Thank you. She's finally with number two. Taylor. Carissa, what does one have to do in order to gain your respect? To gain my respect, somebody needs to have integrity and be honest. And those are the people that I surround myself with, are people who bring me up and not bring me down. <laughs> Muna, if you could change one thing about your generation, what would it be and why? That's hard. If I could change one thing about this generation, is social media. Yeah, I feel like we are so Woo! We take a moment away from it and we take more time going outside and hanging out with our family and being able to do something without being attached to our phones all day. I feel like we would be able to do different things in life and make a bigger difference. This is Madeline. How are you feeling, Madeline? What's the last name called, Denise? I'm grateful. <laughs> I, I never think about that, so I suppose. Get down to that. There's got to be a little tension in the air, huh? Switch, right? Okay, well, you're here, so you have this. All right, go ahead. Don't go now. They didn't want you a choice. See? It's very nice. What one lesson have your parents taught you that you will be sure to teach your children? My parents have always taught me to work hard and have integrity. Do what is right, no matter what, no matter who is watching, and to always work hard. My parents are the hardest working people I know, and I'm so grateful that I got to be raised by them. And if my children could be half as hardworking and have as much integrity as my parents do, I'd be so grateful and successful. Yeah. And with the Ancha Steigoff. Oh, my God. 
This is a post celebration. I was hoping for people are still here and waiting. I'm now home and uh, Miss Minnesota is over and we have a winner already. She's going to compete in uh, Miss, uh, Miss USA in next year. Do not want to make this video long. Uh, I'm afraid it's going to be a copyright so I just want to make it short. Hi everyone! Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Sa mga kapamilya natin na gusto talagang malaman kung ano yung mga mga tour-tour sa Pilipinas o kahit sa ibang bansa, mag-subscribe lang kayo sa YouTube channel ng aking auntie si Elvis YouTube channel, Elvis YouTube ay Elvis Family YouTube channel. Subscribe na.